Well, good morning, everyone. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> wow. Uh, so, welcome to Western Digital and the seventh RISC V workshop. It's, it's fabulous to have you all here today. And I have to say, every time we have one of these, um, I'm, I'm, I continue to be surprised and amazed by just how much energy there is coming into to these events. So, so welcome. First of all, a super huge big thank you to the team at Western Digital to host us here at the original SanDisk facility. This is, uh, they've done a fantastic job helping us get ready for this. And, um, you know, thank you very much, Marco and the WD team. You know, I, I, I kept saying thank you to the team every week during our calls. And, you know, even this morning, Marco said, don't thank us yet, wait till it's over. And, um, you know, this is, this is really quite a fabulous event, uh, facility, and they've done a great job getting ready for this. So thank you. Okay, so first and foremost, these events are about networking and working together and learning from each other. Um, and as is our tradition, we distribute the registration attendee list, or no, we distribute the registration list, so even if you're not here right now to tell us to take your name off, um, that name will be on it. Of course, if you want to um, you know, broadcast some stuff out there on social media, at risk 5 with an underscore is, is the Twitter handle. We don't use a, hash, a hashtag, just use a Twitter handle. And if you haven't um, you know, um, uh, joined our, our uh, LinkedIn page, yeah, you should, because we get a lot of information out there as well, uh, in addition to the risk5.org site. So a few stats. Uh, this is the seventh workshop. And I just left everything else up there to sort of show you the trajectory. I've got a, a graph on this as well. But we have, we have sold out every venue uh, that we've tried to pick. And this is the largest one we've been at, and we, we still can't keep up with the demand for, for uh, people coming to these workshops. Uh, so the WD team said, we have a max capacity of 450. We have 498 registered attendees for this event, representing 138 different companies, which is by far the largest it's been, and 35 universities. And as we've done with all of the workshops, the slides and videos and everything after we do post-processing on the raw video will be up a week or so after the workshop, so you can look for that. So it's, it's pretty fantastic uh, from the very first one. How many people here have uh, been to a workshop before? This, this part's fun. How many people have been to all the workshops? Keep your hand up. There's like, there's like three of us or four of us or something like that. <laughs> So a little, a little bit more of the growth and just by the numbers, right? As I said, 498 registered attendees, more than five times the first workshop we had. You probably looked at the agenda and go, what are these guys smoking with like, a, you know, 1042 timing on when a talk goes up? There's no Q&A. We, we made a, a conscious decision because of all the quality abstracts we, we received, we made a conscious decision to take the Q&A out of the main agenda. If you have an interest in the topic that the presenter is, is, is speaking about, seek them out at the break time. Uh, we, we, we chose to crunch down and be really aggressive with the agenda on 12 and 24 minute intervals and make you go and find that speaker during break and lunch and so on so that we could get as many of the sessions in as possible without having to throw stuff on the floor. So we've got 48 sessions squeezed into these 12 and 24 minute time, time blocks and then you know, 25, 26 some odd poster sessions in the tent uh, later this evening. As we typically do, we look forward six months and tell you where we're going to be uh, for, the, for the next workshop. So it's, again, the same week, the second week in May uh, 2018 at the Barcelona Supercomputing Center and Universitat Politecnica de Catalunya. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also known as the Technical University of Catalonia. <laughs> Um, so it's, it's fantastic. There, they'll be our hosts. Um, we'll have corporate uh, co-hosts along with these guys um, that we haven't announced yet, but this is the venue we'll be at, so mark your calendar. It will probably sell out, so register early. Um, it's, it's entertaining for me how many people email us and tell us how special they are, and they have to get in the night before the event, and all that good stuff. So please, you know, don't do that. Okay, so for those of you that maybe aren't 
terribly familiar with the foundation and how it was set up. Just a couple of overview uh, slides on, on the foundation. After the second workshop, which was hosted at the Berkeley campus in uh, June of 2015, in fact, we had a we had sort of a birds of you know birds of a feather discussion um, uh, at the at the end of one of the days of that workshop to talk about how we might get a foundation together, and you know, it seemed like there might be some interest uh, in, to do so. So in August of 2015, we incorporated as a nonprofit ISO um, IRS. Uh, um, 501c6, a nonprofit organization. Um, it took about a year to draft together with some of the early founding members uh, the bylaws and membership agreements that we would all agree to live by uh, and release those in December of 2016. And really the main principle behind the foundation is that everything related to RISC-5 will remain free and open and available to all parties. We want to have a suite of publicly available uh, compatibility tests to make sure that my interpretation of RISC-V is the same as your interpretation of RISC-V for any implementation we develop. And then to protect the sanctity of a single standard, we also want to treat the trademark um, you know, with the same level of respect and make sure that people who are labeling their product offering, if it's a for um, uh, revenue product offering, not an open source one, uh, that they need to be party to the membership agreement in order to have a commercial license to the trademarks uh, to bring their product to market. So the foundation exists as a board of directors, with a board of directors with seven, as a, as a minimum of seven, can be more, but um, as a minimum of seven uh, board members. And the board really has the responsibility of making sure we live by the rules that we published in the bylaws and the membership agreement. And, and with the ability to amend those uh, with a two-thirds affirmative vote. And as well strike what are referred to in the bylaws as ad hoc committees. The, the reality of it is we'll have two standing committees probably always, and then underneath those committees, subcommittees or task groups, as we refer to them, those task groups will be created uh, depending on the need. Um, when their work is done, that task group might get taken down. So we have um, a technical committee that is chaired by Yunsip Lee from Sci-5, and a marketing committee that's chaired by Ted Marina uh, from MicroSemi. And as I said, those are standing committees with a number of task groups underneath them. And in order to participate in these committees, you need to be a member of the foundation. And part of that is because we want to make sure that the contribution rules for anything that gets brought into the foundation are the same as you know, the current availability and licensing openness of the RISC-V ISA overall. So a lot of the board members are here. So if you can just sort of give a, give a wave, Kirsten, Zvonimir, and Charlie. Uh, Rob, Dave, Franz, and Ted are, are here, and they, they also have these, I'm going to talk about this in a second, but they also have these cool badges on that you can go and, go and find them. But I'd encourage you to seek out, if you haven't talked to any of the board members, seek them out, have a conversation, and, and get to know who these guys are. Because as a foundation member, they work for you, right? They are your you know, governing body to, to make sure the foundation's going in the direction that the membership wants it to go in. And we have a number of classes of membership that give you different privileges and, um, and capability within the foundation, ranging from platinum that lets you sit on the board, gold that lets you chair uh, committees, silver, you participate in anything, and then auditor and individual. And one of the things that's been kind of interesting and challenging all at the same time is keeping this class of uh, membership availability and the company, uh, like the company participants from each of the organizations for the higher levels while still allowing individuals to participate um, uh, if they so choose. This is what the membership growth has looked like. It's kind of, for, for me anyway, and, and for us at the, at the foundation, it's kind of been like drinking from a fire hose. So when we, you know, when we uh, sort of cranked this thing up in, in August of 2015, we thought, boy, if we could get 20 or so companies interested in, in playing with this, it'd be pretty good. Um, and we're, you know, we're well over uh, 100 members now. Uh, it's a bit of an eye chart with some of the logos. The RISC V logo is the biggest on purpose. Um, and okay, they're, they're all there. Um, that, so that hundred plus number includes individual members. And if you know, for those of you that are members, that maybe you're new members and you're looking for your logo and we don't have it there, literally this slide changes almost every day. So it's kind of hard to keep up, but it's pretty impressive. 
And one of the things that's interesting that we've done for this uh, workshop is Ant Micro and Sci Fi have worked on this little badge uh, here, which is an e ink display. It's powered by a Sci Fi RISC V device. The whole thing from the ground up is completely open source, the whole design, even you know, the, the rocket based uh, core that's in here from Sci Fi, and it's pretty cool. We're giving this to all of the media attendees and, and the speakers just as a special gift. Now, you know, it's not really, okay, it's, it's a cool little electronic badge. What it, What's really important here is the, the underlying openness and symbolism of that that is what's behind RISC-V overall, right? It's open and available to, it, to everyone. So there'll probably be variants of this at other events as different people want to take the, maybe the SOM off of here and put their own processor on there and, and so on, but it's, it's pretty cool. So thank you to the Ant Micro guys and to Sci-Fi for uh, helping to put that together. So that's it for me. I hope you're impressed by the, the ramp rate in terms of membership, because it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. One of the things that we're going to be looking at for next year is no matter how big we try to get the venue, um, we, we sell out and we have to turn people away, which is not that, uh, not that uh, interesting for the people who get turned away. Uh, so we'll be looking at different ways of, of pulling this off next year. I think it's, it's an opportunity for us to uh, uh, to take a, take a look at maybe a different way of doing this. Uh, just earlier this year, uh, the good folks at, at the Lindley Group thought that the stuff that was going on at RISC-V was pretty cool and decided that we were the best new technology analyst choice award um, for 2016. So that's, that's pretty interesting. We have a very, very active task groups in the technical committee and marketing committee. If you're a member and your company is starting to get more and more active in RISC-V, you should participate. You help to shape these kinds of events and the direction of the, more importantly, the direction of the, of, of the specification stack. And as I said earlier, uh, mark your dates now and get ready to register as soon as we open it up, probably sometime in, in February or so for the uh, Barcelona workshop if you're intending to participate. My name is Rick O'Connor, in case you didn't know that, and I'm the executive director of the RISC-V Foundation. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Kirsta.